Let's go to Will, who joins us a long way away in Qatar. I want to make sure I saw that right. Qatar. Will, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Thanks, Ken. I, I, man, you're preaching away there. I know, um, right? I'm all yeah. fired up today. <laughs> uh, no, so I, I called in um, about two or three weeks back, and I'll, uh, I spoke with you. And yes. your advice to me, because I had several jobs, three to be specific, and had not heard back from uh, from any of them yet. And your advice was to chill and keep applying to more jobs. So yeah. I've chilled. I've applied to more um, and then no sooner than your, your book arrived, uh, two or three days ago. And I started, uh, reading through it. And by the way, I can hear your voice and all the, uh, the words on the pages. So it's, Good. it's awesome. Good. Um, and then, <laughs> and then lo and behold, I got my, uh, uh, first job offer in. Um, however, I feel like there's an obligation to reach out to the other, uh, hiring authorities and kind of let them know in full transparency that I have an offer on the table. Um, and I would, kindly like an update as to uh, whether I'm still being considered. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Perhaps uh, whether writing an email um, was the right call and if, you know, and what I said, uh, what would you say? Yeah. And okay. then I guess really it's trying to decide between these three jobs. Well, but see, here's the thing, Will, you only got one job to decide on right now. You don't have three jobs. You want there to be three Correct. jobs, but you only have one. Am I right? You're right. All right. There's an old phrase. How old are you, Will? Uh, 34. 34. Have you ever heard the phrase, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? <laughs> nah, that's, yes, I've heard it so many times. Okay. Am I right that that's, not your, that's your situation right now? Correct. All right. So before I tell you what I think you should do uh, based on your question, are you excited about the opportunity that's been offered you? Or are you just kind of like, eh, give me an excitement level on a scale of one to 10. One, you, it didn't even like register. You're practically yawning while you read the offer. 10, you're out of your mind. What's the, what's the number you're at? So I'm excited. Uh, I was instantly excited that, that I applied. However, the job is with a new organization and I'm not sure that they have a clear path forward. So I'm a little nervous about that. What's your number on that one? That would be, that job is kind of like, uh, like a four. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. Now that's why you're in this situation where you're like, okay, I got an offer, but I've got some real concerns. And so now I want to rattle the cage a little bit with the other two. So I'm always going to prefer a phone call. Have you talked to anybody and is there a open door to where you could get somebody on the phone because they've talked to you and they've given you their number or is email the only way? No, you're, you're, you're dead right. I could call, uh, you know, I'm caught up in that millennial military struggle of like, just fire another email off. Don't fire emails. I hate email. Have I been clear enough about that, Joe? Okay. If I haven't been clear folks, I want to make it clear. I despise email. I despise it. I'm not going to go off on a tangent on that. Why? But I don't like it. But but I really don't like it as a form of real important communication. Here's Let me just tell you why, Will. Number one, when you send an email, you have no control over how that person reads it. They could be in a really crappy part of their day. Um, they could be in a hurry. There's so many things that could be going on. And who among us hasn't? written an email that we wrote it this way and somebody read it that way. And it's like, holy cow, how did we lose this in translation? So I hate email for this. So I want you to call them up and get them on the phone. Now we can control tone, humility, hunger. We can control all that. Yes or no, Will? Yes. Well, that didn't sound very confident. Which is why you want to send an email. You're scared to have this conversation, aren't you? No, I'm scared that I can't control what you just mentioned, the humility, the interest. The well, sure. like, I, I feel like I can do that better in the email. No, that's a cop out. <laughs> Will, do you know how to talk to somebody and have a hum humble attitude when you talk to them? Yes. Okay. Come on, man. You're overthinking this. So here's the deal. 
No more. You're thinking too much, and I'm I'm actually giving you more to think about. You need to stop thinking and start acting. Call them up, get them on the phone, and go, hey, I am so grateful uh, that you guys have interviewed me, have enjoyed the process, uh, hoping that uh, it moves forward to something, and that's why I'm calling. Don't want to put you on the spot uh, or pressure you at all, but just wanted you to know I've applied for multiple things, and I've got an offer right now that I am considering but to be really honest with you, I really like you guys and uh, very intrigued by it. And so I'm before I make a decision, I'm just curious, do you feel like we're moving forward? If not, totally cool. Uh, and if you go, well, it's going to be a while, I understand that too. So without putting you in pressure, what insight can you give me? And uh, I would appreciate your thoughts. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, tracking, tracking what you're putting down. Well, all right then do it. Stop thinking and no emails for heaven's sakes, folks.